Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop with another job that just came into the shop. So we have here is a coupler. Um, had a brand name on it somewhere. I guess it doesn't matter. There's the uh, keyway. Well, today's task to do, bore this out to an inch and a half and rebroach it in line with those. So, this is already, let me see, show you here. Is that gonna show up? You can see, this has already been bored. There's the remnants of the old keyway. I don't know how much that's showing. You can see, well, you can kinda of see the, the divot there. So this has already been <laughs> bored and uh, broached to fit a different shaft than it was purchased for. And now we're just doing that again. So we're at, let's see here. Roughly that. So we don't gotta take too much out of it. It'll probably take that slot out, hopefully. This is a slow spinning application. Um, when you get on these bushings, when you start boring them out and boring them out again, remember to think about you know your wall thickness. Because once we bore this out to an inch and a half and broach it, you know the keyway thickness there is, of course, going to be less. But this is a low speed shaft. He's gonna upsize i'm not sure what it was another farmer drop off actually this is the same farmer that we did the uh the sleeve where he welded in not the last machining video but the machine before that this is another part of that same machine so obviously he's doing some major farmer uh modifications to it so yeah we'll get this guy chucked up in the lathe I've got some carbide inserts that work pretty good on interrupted cuts. I'm going to cut pretty deep. Probably try to get that keyway out in two cuts. So don't, you know, under interrupted cups, cuts, you know, they kind of beat up carbide. So yeah, we'll get her chucked up and I'll bring you back. Okay, we've got the coupler running in there to within an inch. It's actually a multiple interrupted cut because not only is there the keyway but there's two sets of set screws so i'm going to try to get through obviously we're not going to get through the set screws but i will uh try to get that keyway out of the way in two cuts got it on a pretty slow uh, carriage feed that seems to work i do a lot of cut interrupted mostly uh keyway cuts on pump impellers and stuff so this system I do works pretty good. Let's see how we go. Oh, forgot my safety glasses. Looks like see, looking through the camera. It looks like it's bouncing. That's just the vibration passing through the bed. We're getting through her. We'll see how long that uh, insert lasts. We don't have to bore this much, to bore this out too much to get to that inch and a half. And I'll probably go a few thou over. He said the shafts are right at an uh, inch and a half. Yeah, there's not much of that keyway left. Let me take a Rough measurement. <clears throat> We're at 
one 364. You guys are being a little careful. So we will take off. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. I think that'll get us through the keyway. Guess we'll see. Bumping stuff, stuff left. The picture camera's not bouncing around. Chips falling out of everywhere back there. Cutter tips looking, looking pretty good. There's very little of that keyway left. So we have an inch. We are at, we're at one four two two. So we'll take a, another fifty. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I always count out loud when I'm using the dials. So, bring it forward. Kick it roll. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this cut and I'll bring you back when the boring is done. Okay, so we have our collar down here. Let me try this one handed. We're at three thou over, which is exactly what I wanted. Well, within two or three. He told me the shafts were one uh, inch and a half to just a smidge smidge over so now we're to the uh, broaching so what we're gonna do is a broach plug it's an inch and a half one there we go fits in there very nice by the way these are a very hold on here These are a very good practice thing for you new guys. You know, you turn to it, practicing turning to a shoulder, turning to a dimension, and then uh, milling in the center of a part. I've made all my plugs. This one, I don't remember how long ago I made. I have 10 or so of them. Now, as you'll notice, this plug is not as deep as this coupler. So I'll show you what I do when I have this situation, and I've had no problems with them. But, well, there's no real secret to it. I'm going to put it in this way, run the key through, then put it in the other way, line it up, and run the, the brooch through. That way to make sure it's uh, the keyway is a consistent depth. So, let's go to the press. Okay, so now we're to the broaching. I'm not going to show you this because there is nothing more boring than watching this. But give you guys a little view on what I do. So I've got the brooch well lubricated, 
Got a rag underneath to catch the oil. I do not, I am not a fan of pushing this down to where there's a gap, raising it back up and putting a bolt or something to push that between there. You never want to have anything, because look, okay, there's one joint here. Let's say you push that down a little bit, raise it up. You don't want to mess with the bars, you know. So you put a bolt or something in there. Now there's two joints, two places for slop where something can kick out. Don't do it. It's just, it's not worth the risk. Push it down, raise the table up. I know it takes, you know, I know it takes like 30 seconds. So just that's, I always keep the cutter in direct contact with the press. Another thing, I will never, even if I get a 50, I'm going to get a 50 ton hydraulic press soon. I will not broach on it. I like to be able to feel the response and how tight it's getting. You know, this is hard. This will shatter. So I'll always have this press. If that's all I use it for is broaching, then that's fine. Because you, you need to be able to feel when it gets tight. Because again, it will shatter or kick out. Always make sure you're in the middle. And down here too. And then go nice and slow. Show you a little bit. Pompey, pompey. And we're cutting the keyway. And then as it gets close, what I'll do is I'll reach under there because these are hard, so you don't want them to hit the ground because they'll chip. So yeah, it's a little, the way I broach stuff, and I think most people should, and how I aligned this is I spun the bushing till I could see the, the holes, you know, see the keyway. That'll be good enough for what this is. So I'll get this broached, and I'll bring you back. Okay, we got our keyway in there. And it is lined up with the threads. That piece is good to go. Called the guy, he's on his way to get it. So yeah, that's another typical example of the stuff I do here. And a lot of job shops do. Just these small little jobs. I tried to keep track of this besides all the time messing with the camera and all that other stuff. This was less than an hour, so not much for for that so yeah this is adam from small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching